the uh, some nerves amongst the most uh, seasoned of international players because this is uh, for their club the place where hockey begins for them and uh, which means so much to them the two sides coming out Rottweiss in their white red strip served in predominantly in white today blue skies overhead the floodlights are on but that's only to even out the light to help our television coverage of the game so you you take what small wins you can get we we wish Timor of course the best but uh... attack here for Rottweiss oh and the goalkeeper got a pad on it but he couldn't control the rebound and Rottweiss pouncing on it, Ogunlana slams his stick into his pads. Yeah, that's a disappointing outcome there for Surbiton. They've weathered a, a bit of a storm in this first four minutes, but that one seemed to be quite harmless. Ball comes into the circle, touch there. Ogunlana does well, but it's that bit, it's that follow-up play that, that has presented itself just just hesitates momentarily just and giving that's... maximilian seberg enough time to get his stick on it and rattles the backboard and that's all it takes just a moment of hesitation and rock vice quick to pounce on it there yeah it's just the start that rock vice wanted and now now we see the real problems begin oh dear well one so often brings two and they're on fire. Well, if there was a degree of good fortune in the first goal, in the sense of a ball running free, there's nothing, nothing fortunate about this. This is just Chris Ruhr at his very, very best. Top speed on the reverse, slamming it into the sideboard. This is really mastery at work fine fine finish and, and well what a start for the team in red it's okay it's okay Ruhr sets off again drills one across oh that's beautiful a little touch there putting it out of the reach of the goalkeeper well chris ruin didn't score that goal in the sense of it's not down to him, but he may just as well have done with the quality of this pass. He has put this onto a postage stamp for the deflection. Little uh, touch there from the Siegberg, his second of the game. The scoreline's bad enough as it is, but one more would, would certainly be the end of things you would think so this is the sort of Silverton making life hard from Xavier Ruiz on a break here umpire's playing advantage oh. well I thought for a moment it was going to spin wide of the goal but uh, well everything that Ruiz touches at the moment is turning to, to goals now this is going to be I don't think this can be referred to I think you're right I think this is outside the 23 in which case it can't be referred Lorraine, is it inside I, I, I don't know if it's inside or outside. I don't know what they're talking about. Well, I had this conversation with Alison earlier on today, who thinks that this is a rule that He's dealing with it. He's dealing with it. Revising, because sometimes goals yes. are created from um, marginally so outside the 23 meter inside line. The 23. That's what and he's so asking. it's not a goal according to them. Can you I'll, please check? I'll check body inside 23 or it, Thank if you. it's outside. We can't, we can't refer that. Well, let's have a look at this again. She's going to check. Come down, well, she's going to check. Outside, well That's outside, isn't it? Well outside. Well outside, yeah. Ruhr was away and finished. Ready. And the question really is whether the first bounce is going to make it spin wide of the post, but the way things are going for Chris Ruhr, it was always going to Sebastian finish in the back of the net. Sebastian, not reason to change your decision. Yes, they lose the referral. The okay, is it is it because the foul was outside the 20? Correct, yes. Yeah. Lovely Lovely giving ball. it to another one in Grambush. Lovely Play! ball movement again Play! by Rottweiss. Oh! Well, that was a beautiful flowing move. And uh, Mats Grambush was involved in the early stages. He was involved with the finish as well. And that's five. 
So another opportunity here, Luke Taylor in the, what's often, not necessarily always, but the preferred number one striker position. Now moving across to the right. And taking on, and firing at home. Well, Serbian can barely celebrate it, but it's the goal that they uh, needed earlier. It's the opportunity well done, boys. Well done, boys. Well done, that they've there. taken this time, and it's a consolation. And as they did against Dragons, Taylor moving to that battery, which opens the line up to the, the post player. Van Ash not able to get across. Real speed, as always, from Luke Taylor. Well, he's put that past one of the leading goalkeepers uh, in the world of hockey. And that's uh, a little scalp for Luke Taylor there.